Well, as the saying goes, even a broken clock is right twice a day. And let me make something perfectly clear. I don't trust Jake Tapper. I think he is a garbage anchor. And I think that he works for a garbage institution, CNN. But on this issue, he is absolutely right. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna give you definitive proof any of you out there that still believes that Joe Biden can go out there and golf with Donald Trump. It's Tuesday, July 2nd, 2024. I'm Stuart Allister. From Fox News, Tapper blasts Democrats' Orwellian tactics, trying to convince public to not believe what you saw at the debate. It, there are Democrats out there right now saying that Joe Biden is sharp as a tack. They're, they're out there right now gaslighting the people saying, no, no, no. There are some people who are trying to blame it on the lighting. It, the, like the, the, no, no, the lighting, it was a tactic. It was a tactic. It, it, it made uh, uh, Joe Biden look pale and weak. The lights did that? Well, why didn't they do that with Trump? I mean, after all, it was CNN. Man, people are, man, people are just trying to cope. All right, before we get into it, why don't you wreck that like button? Subscribe to my channel if you haven't and press that notification bell so you never miss an episode. Holy cow, man, holy mackerel. CNN host Jake Tapper accused Democrat officials of using Orwellian tactics to spin President Biden's debate, debate performance. Tapper co-moderator last week's presidential debate, which was widely seen as a disastrous night for Biden. Many Democrats and in the liberal in the media, sorry, Democrats and liberals in the media have called for the president to step down and be replaced with another nominee as the Democrats still defending as as for the Democrats still defending Biden Tapper argued they are disingenuously downplay downplaying or ignoring signs of the president's age, age, age-related decline. I'm, I, I, calm down. See, you get too excited. So you start losing, you know, your thoughts. You start reading things that are not there. Calm down. Okay. Democrats are still out there trying to gaslight people. And I guess they never got the memo. Okay. Once the donors start having second thoughts about you, your campaign is over. And there's nothing you can do about it. Tapper noted in his opening monologue on Monday's The Lead that, quote, there is a pattern, discernible pattern, of Democratic officials seemingly trying to convince you, the public, to not believe what you saw and what you heard with your eyes and with your ears on Thursday night, close quote. They're, they're out there right now. Chuck Schumer was saying, oh, no, no, his mental acuity is fine. I'm not, I did a short on it. Go, go look it up. Chuck Schumer say, no, 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 his mental acuity is wonderful. After playing a montage of Biden's most criticized, criticized moments from the debate, Tapper said, Democrat officials have tried to spin this in many ways. They said President Biden just had a cold. They said that it was just, just, just a one-off night akin to when President Obama in 2012 was rusty and seemed a little huffy. They're, they're, I said during the debate, um, this is a Nixon uh, JFK moment. 
<laughs> like this is this this is it. This is it. You you're you just lost. However, he continued behind the scenes. Make no mistake. Most Democrat officials witnessed the same shocking spectacle that you did. The difficulty that the presumptive Democratic nominee, the current president of the United States, had just articulated his basic thoughts during the 90 minute. That was the problem. 90 minute debate. It was 90 minutes. Very, very difficult to muster 90 minutes when your mental capacity is garbage. Quote, the spinning is all very reminiscent of George Orwell, quote, from the book of 1984, Tapper said, alluding to having used the quote regarding Trump five years ago, quote, it's relevant again today. The party told you to reject the, the uh, evidence of your eyes and ears. It was their final, most essential command. Close quote. For those of you who, who, who are out there, you have friends who, who really believe that, no, 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 uh, 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 Joe Biden is sharp. Really? Okay. Um, no, 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 just look at your screen. You see what Donald Trump is doing? He's like, ah, I'm not talking to you people. I'm out of here. I got stuff to do. People hate that, by the way. And he just walks away. And then we go to Joe and Jill. And take a look at Jill trying to look at Joe unable to walk down one step. And look at him as he shuffles over to the, to the table. With these fro frozen hands, like, 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 what the heck is going? Look at this. He can barely walk. He literally needs a walker. For those of you out there who don't believe it, please show this to your liberal friends. Now, in contrast. Do you really believe that Joe Biden can go out and do this? The ball. Yeah. That was Donald Trump on the golf tee. Wow. And that's a pretty good shot. Wow. And by the way, it's not on the practice tee. He's actually playing golf in the sun with a sweater on for those of you who don't know if you've never played golf let me tell you something once you get to that like around like the 14th 15th hole hey man your swing goes south <laughs> and, and by the way most of it is because of the sun look at him look at him and Joe Biden tells Donald Trump that, yeah, I'll go out there with you if you can carry your bag. Will you do it? It's like, dude, I, are you, you know what's happening? Um, Joe Biden has been gaslit by Jill Biden. Joe Biden has been gaslit. You did so great. You, you answered all the questions and you know all the facts. He is being gaslit by his stinking wife. Man, I, this, I, I tell you, this is, uh, you got this one on me. He promised that wouldn't happen on his show and said he'd be talking to those more willing to speak freely, honestly, and candidly about the candidate than the people running the Biden campaign, the people close to President Biden, and frankly, most of the Democratic officials across this country. Right, once again, 
I don't trust Jake Tapper. But let's make that really, really clear. I don't trust CNN. But he's absolutely right. He witnessed it. He watched. Look, look, look. Jake is sitting there. He's watching Joe Biden and Jill tiptoeing down. It's by the way, it's one step. I thought it was like five steps. It's one step. Look, look, look. This is what your eyes saw. Look, and guess who's watching that? Jake Tapper was just watching that. And he knows, did I just, did I just witness him being helped down? By the way, once you reach that, that decline, that, that stage of decline, um, I had a friend whose whose dad, if you you know like you know like like when you leave the house and you like step down onto the porch, he needed help stepping down, like you know from 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 the house from the door to the porch, like he needed help taking that first step. And all of the, you know, following steps. He really needed help. I'm Any of you who still believe somehow that you're not being lied to by this media, that you're not being lied to and gaslit, that Joe Biden is, is, is with it? Do you really believe that he can go out there and golf with Donald Trump? Good God, have mercy on this country all right that's it for now if you like this video smash that like button and subscribe and if you're following me on rumble please press that follow button and until the next time god bless